out here in Stony Cove, the National Dive Centre. As you can see, the visibility is passable, but uh, it's not as great as it is sometimes. Behind you, we've got the cockpit of a uh, DC-10 that was crashed during the Second World War, shot down by Germans. <coughs> Luckily, all the crew managed to escape, but there are reports that there was gold bullion on board this aircraft. And one of the things we'll be doing today is having a good look at the back of it to see if we can find any treasure. Or maybe just some fish. Yeah. We're likely to encounter lots of uh, fish in uh, Stony Cove. We've got pike and perch. And large schools of roach are often seen on the shelf. The cockpit lies in between six and eight metres of water. At the far right-hand side, on what's known as the six metre shelf, which is predominantly used for teaching students, which is where we spend a lot of our time at Stony Cove. The joy of the comms that we're using today, the hard wire from Ocean Reef, means that we can chat openly underwater. I can describe stuff to you, and if we're doing tasks underwater, it allows us to communicate both between ourselves and with the shore keeping the shore updated with how our dive is progressing. So, Diver Andy to shore. Can you hear us loud and clear? I drove shore to Diver Andy. Roger that, I can hear you loud and clear. Okay, Craig's just given us an okay, so I'm assuming that that's a cut 